documentation existed about what was done in the Underground Railroad. I mean, they're, they're well, at Ohio, or, you know, in Ohio, Ohio, in Ohio, well, and in Cleveland specifically. Well, the, the, the main source, and, and I'm passing around the, the pamphlet that has a picture of the map, how it said that, that it just crisscrosses the state. The, the, um, the main documentation comes from Wilbur Siebert, who was an OSU professor who, who in the 1890s had the foresight to, to capture many of these stories. And so he went out and interviewed Underground Railroad conductors as well as um, people who had escaped along the Underground Railroad. And so, and so he put together the map that, share, that shows where many of these lines were supposed to have operated <coughs> out of. And, and so that, that is definitely the starting point. Um, Rankin wrote about uh, uh, the reason that he's considered the father, that William Lloyd Garrison considered him the father of the anti-slavery movement, was that in 1824, he wrote letters on American slavery, that a, a series of letters that were published in a Tennessee newspaper that were actually directed at his brother, who had married into a slaveholding family. And it was, and it was to try to appeal to his, his brother's better instincts and that he had sent this as an open letter, and that was later turned into a book, and that and that sort of was what launched the anti-slavery movement in in the United States, and um, and so and then many people wrote about um, Josiah Henson, who whose story was the basis was was is considered uh, the Uncle Tom character in Harriet Beecher Stowe's book Uncle Tom's Cabin. He, he wrote about his life story. There are, there are many uh, escaping slaves who sort of went on a speaking circuit, and they, um, and they wrote about their histories. I have a quote from, there are quotes from Horace Ford, where he wrote about the, the, uh, the work that his family had done. And so, so that's where we've been able to find uh, much of it. But Siebert is really who people turn to. Um, and, and Ohio's history is just um, amazing, really, because it started in 18, with, with the constitutional, with the, the state constitution, where um, Ephraim Cutler over in Marietta introduced, th there was some, because so many people had been granted land from Virginia after the war, there, there was a debate as to whether um, Ohio would remain uh, free soil, which it had been ever since the Northwest Territory was carved out. And so, so there was a big push to actually allow slavery in the state. And, and Ephraim Cutler rose from what was considered his deathbed and got up and cast the deciding vote, and it passed by one vote that Ohio was not a slave state, that it would always be free soil. So from 1804, Ohio played this enormous role in all of the anti-slavery and the Underground Railroad activity. There were no more anti-slavery societies anywhere than in Ohio. 